Hello and welcome to City Skylines. I'm your host Vasquez and in this video I'm going to show you everything new that we got on the latest DLC, the Sunset Harbor. And let me just start with this map. This is the Fisherman Enclave. This is the newest map in the game and I think it's looking very very interesting and very beautiful. I can think so many ways I can create a city over here. So because my old saves are not working I'm going to probably start a new city on this map so as I said I'm going to show you everything new <coughs> sorry about that everything new in this latest DLC for me I think the DLC is very very good and uh, it's currently 15 euros if you want to buy it uh, but I should probably advise you this wait day or two because there is a lot of problems with mods they're not working and uh, your saved games will not work this is the issue that I have so I'm going to show you quickly what we got here now so I didn't uh, play this on a city because everything that I previously built uh, is not working anymore <laughs> yeah it's a shame but new game new DLC so I like the map I will probably start a new town let's begin from the transportation sector because I think the transportation sector got the most upgrades in this latest DLC there is so many new things and I'm really really hyped about it now we have more buses you probably know this if you have if you have a city and uh, your people are going into the city by a car or a, by a train now they can go in in your city with the bus you can see here there is a bus on the highway we didn't have that before and this is called the intercity bus station so your people will now move in your city with buses this is realistic and I really like that so we have two stations over here we have the bigger one the bus terminal so the buses with people who want to move in your city will come here and they can take the other transport that you have in your city and move into the house or a building it's a good good idea now uh, we go to this panel over here we have public transport hubs this is the new option into your uh, transport uh, tab and we have even bigger one look at this I think the models are really really nicely done and really realistic I really like that and uh, yeah the bus changes are really good very interesting so let's go to the next transportation now we have the trolley bus depot if you live in a city you know what is a trolley it's uh, basically a bus who, that runs on electricity and uh, yeah you can see we can have now the trolley buses and I'm really really happy about this because I don't have all the DLCs and I didn't have trams but this is going to be very very good for my next city build and let's go even more we have now metro we have two stations that are new for the metro and the latest upgrade for the metro is that you can build your metro above the ground yeah yeah now we can build above the ground look at this and now we are underground metro it's not very beautifully done but I want to show you and I really really like this upgrade we have two new station stations uh, this is the smaller one on the ground and the bigger elevated metro station they're looking very very nicely done obviously I used a similar design in my city uh, cities because there were a couple of mods that you need to install but now you don't need to have any mod to use this so I'm really really happy about that uh, let's go and see ships nothing new nothing new here but let's go 
to here. Now there is more options with your buses. And now your buses have a metro line. This is the intercity bus and you have the metro lines. And either you can choose to two directions on this one and one direction on this one. And uh, this is a really, really cool idea if you have a big city and you have a metropolitan area and you can build uh, something like this. For example, in the New York you have a Grand Central Station and uh, yeah, really, really nice. And uh, let's check out more. We have now another design or combination. Here we have a combination of the buses and the metro line and here we have the combination of the metro line and the train station. S so if your people are moving in into your city, they can go by a train, go all over all, all over the <laughs> really nicely bridge uh, over the roads and take the train wherever they want into the city. Really, really nice idea and I totally support it. And uh, the biggest transportation in this uh, DLC is the airport and it's super big I can't even place it okay we can place it over here look at that this is a huge huge plane station sorry the airport the design is really cool and if you're wondering what is this over here we have another thing new into the, this game and let me just show you really really quickly now we have another transportation here we have the helicopter transportation you can build your depot and you can build lines so if you have rich people they can move with the helicopters it's a really really nice idea uh, so very very big improvements into the, this DLC there is so much uh, about transport needs so helicopters new airports we have metro we have buses we have train there's a lot of changes that I really really like as you can see we can create helicopter pathway and the lines this is really really cool here there is basically everything the same now we have this option where everything your buildings are in one place so the transportation is here all of it I'm really really uh, looking forward to build my next city and using all of this because I believe that cities can now have very very good efficiency with the transportation so the next thing I wanted to show you is the water towers now this is a small up small change this is the old one and this is the new one obviously this has more uh, pumping capacity than this one and yeah it's looking very very nice so now we have changes to the water system and the garbage system let me just show you new things okay we have now inland water treatment plant like this now let me just pop everything here now because we have a new industry into our city or our DLC this is the fishing industry I will show you that uh, you need to keep your water clean if you want to have fishing of course so this is going to help you to fix that problem uh, this pumps and cleans the water and uh, you can see it drains the waste water back into the ground so uh, there is going to be some pollution with this uh, I believe that this eco inland water treatment uh, doesn't pollute much as this do and the bigger one is the same but the bigger capacity and uh, yeah we have this in real life so really really good I support that of course so the next thing I wanted to show you is garbage we have now 
two new buildings. The, the building number one is the smallest, the waste transfer facility. So you can place your waste transfer facility near your city. This doesn't pollute, so you will not have any uh, pollution from it. And uh, your garbage trucks will collect all of the trash you, that you have in your city and move it over here. After that, the waste transfer facility will move the trash to this huge waste processing complex. And you can see this is a really, really good number for the garbage. You can probably solve with uh, one or two of these facilities to cover a big, big city. You don't need to create uh, a lot of these and a lot of, uh, how is it called, land sites, landfill sites. So with these two, you can fix all of the problem with your garbage. Really, really nice. Next thing we are going to show you here is the fishing industry. This is the newest addition for the game. And you can see all of this is now fishing area. Really, really nice. We have a couple of... Uh, fishes, salmon, tuna that you can uh, hunt and let me just show you how is this looking. So when you place your fishing building you need to create a route, fishing route. So you can choose, maybe this is a better way, where do you want your fishing ground to be? I believe that uh, we have a couple of uh, sorts of fishes to hunt that uh, fishing grounds depend on the depth but I, I'm not really sure about that so I covered a couple of different places so when you create that uh, fish will be hunted in that area so let's let's start it you can see the boat is moving and this is for the uh, fishing harbor no, it's fishing everything. Let's see. We can we have some specialization and anchovy. Sorry if I didn't cr say that correctly. English is not my first language. And let's place everything that we have here like that. And this is for the tuna. Let's place tuna fishing over here. We have a fish farm, so something like in the real world let's see here algae farm and seaweed farm and let's check this out i mean they really really made an effort to create this building and the props really cool look at the seaweed is here do we have the fishes no we can't see them but it's really really nicely idea and uh, after you place all of this you need to create all of the routes that you want your fishermen to go you can see we have one boat and it's currently loaded 29% so you can choose uh, what fishes that you want to catch you can see here we have the salmon shellfish <laughs> and another thing for the fishing industry is the fish market or oh, let me just place like this and the fish factory so you can choose two ways to earn money from the fishing industry is to move all of your fishes to the fish factory where probably they are going to can it and move to the commercial zones and another way is to create a fish market so people can go here and buy the fresh fish. Nice, really, really nice idea. So that's about that for the fish industry. It's a good idea for me and I think we can have so much fun. I'm wondering if I cross the routes what will happen will the yeah yeah okay nice 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 i was thinking if uh, a boat has a limitation uh to cross 
into the, this area here, but it's okay. Now they're moving all along. Nice, nice, nice. So we have a couple of more changes in this DLC. Uh, we have health changes. So we now have the health care and the child health center. So these two buildings, you can see the circle. You can probably uh, fix this problem with a couple of buildings. You can see almost the entire area where the city will be. This one building is enough. And uh, you can see here we have new tabs into the health bar. When we place uh, these two buildings, let's check them out. And this is for the child care and for the elder care. So basically, this is a retirement home. Let's see here, child care. This will improve your birth rate in your city, and uh, this will increase the uh, lifespan of the citizens. So this is a nice idea. So that's it for the buildings. Sorry for the no electricity, but uh, I'm going to start a new city today right on this map. And I'm going to use all of this, of course. So we have a couple of more changes to this DLC and we have new policies. So we have the fishing license, tourist travel card, and the uh, allergy based water filtering, whatever that is. And let's see the taxation, everything is the same. And the city planning, uh, I believe that this is new. This, sustainable fishing, dolphin safe fishing, and the airplane tours, this is new. So this is all new to the latest DLC in City Skylines. We have a very, very good upgrade for the transportation sector. We have the new airport, new industry, we have a couple of new policies, we got a couple of new maps, so let me just show you the uh, Fisherman's Enclave, this map that I chose to record this video, of course, and we have, I think, five maps that are new, so I believe that this is going to be a very, very interesting build. So, guys, that's it for the this video. I hope that I didn't uh, miss anything to show you on the, this uh, newest DLC. And uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button, press the subscription button, and see you on to the next video. Bye, everybody.